So the vision and the goal that we want to accomplish here at the Mascot Hall of Fame is kind of twofold. On the museum side, it's really to elevate us to a point where we're considered in the top 10 children's museums in the country. And on the Mascot Hall of Fame side, on the Hall of Fame side, the character side, I want to be considered at the same level and spoken about in the same sentence as Cooperstown in Canton, Ohio, the professional Hall of Fames. I want to be considered at the same level. Five years ago, that I first got a call from the city of Whiting um, suggesting that uh, we bring the Mascot Hall of Fame to Whiting. And my first question was, uh, well, why Whiting? And um, I now have an answer, and it's this, it's this amazing place. Mascot Hall of Fame is totally interactive. It's fun. It's not staid. It's not blazers on a wall or plaques on a wall. It's a place where people can come, kids, students, teachers, families, grandfathers, grandmothers and engage and have fun. The Mascot Hall of Fame team came to us with a bunch of really cool individual exhibit ideas. They knew they wanted the Hall of Fame to be uh, wacky and fun and colorful, not reverent like a typical sports Hall of Fame would be. So they came to us to come up with an idea and tie everything together. We looked at mascots in general and we found a pretty common thread. They create fun. What better way to create a fan for life than to engage them from a young age? We use this concept to our advantage and we disguise the Children's Museum as the Mascot Hall of Fame. Of course, you can't have a Mascot Hall of Fame without having a mascot for the Mascot Hall of Fame. Reggie. Reggie is a unique character. Reggie is Mascot Hall of Fame centric, and I think that gives us a true identity of who we are and what we want to be. He's a unique, one-of-a-kind, terrific character. We're happy to have him here in Whitey. Chicago Scenic found out about the Mascot Hall of Fame from the mayor of Whiting himself. He has this zany idea to draw people in and bring them to a fun place. So we took the ideas and the images that he had created with JRA and we brought them to life into something that you can really touch and feel and interact with every day. The central idea behind the Mascot Hall of Fame is that we created a fictional mascot university, which not only allows us to teach guests about mascots, but it also allows us to teach guests how to become a mascot. So one of the biggest challenges when you're looking at a kids museum is the keyword kids. Because kids are rough on anything that they have. You have to really think about durability of pieces. A part of that durability process is prototyping. So we had to bring kids in and we had them bash on the buttons and do as much as they could, pull on levers, tug on fur. They took parts and they threw it on the ground and did whatever, the, whatever kids are gonna do with stuff. You want that repeatability and that durability every day that the museum's open. I think there's a big wow factor. When people walk in the front door and stare up at the atrium, their first reaction when looking at the heads is, wow. There's so many cool exhibits and cool interactive places to just let your guard down and have wholesome fun with your kids at the same time while they're learning uh, at a STEAM-based level. I, I really think now that it's it's it's, a, it's really heavy in education. So uh, school trips and people here will actually learn a lot. There, it's a the curriculum based programming is uh, all through the entire museum. Uh, but I think they're going to have a lot of fun while they're learning something. We try to incorporate STEAM principles into as many exhibits as we can. STEAM stands for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. STEAM is important because not only do kids learn through play but it also helps educators meet local curriculum so that they can bring kids here on a school field trip. So with museums today, one of the big things to focus on is how do you get kids to interact with what they're actually seeing? And you have to do a combination of the digital, which is all of the videos of the screens and the touch screens, but you also want them to get away from the screen. So you have to think about how are they physically doing stuff, or they're putting on the weight vest, jumping around, or they're creating their own mascot by putting pieces together so it's the combination of the digital and the physical interactive that we really focus on and try to make it a well-rounded museum. I really feel very fortunate to have been able to work on something so over the top with these crazy materials, bright and fun. It was truly a once in a lifetime experience. It's not just a Hall of Fame where you have history preserved. It's also one that's so kid-centric and so fun-centric and that's what makes this Hall of Fame so unique and so worth seeing time and time again. The town has embraced it, the region has embraced it. We've had so much good publicity about the Mascot Hall of Fame. It's like this big, happy, regional Chicagoland effort. It's, it's just so exciting, it's so amazing uh, that we have a place that's honoring the, you know, the unsung heroes 
uh, of sports and, and really demonstrating how powerful they can be to distract us, to teach us, to entertain us. So that's my message today to everybody that's coming here and the people that are uh, that want to come here, that that's what you're going to get in this place is you're going to come in with your whole family of all ages, be distracted, have some fun and, and feel better when you leave.